Can-Am has done a really exceptional job coming up with driving modes for just about every driving condition. And so today, I'm gonna to take some time to walk you through most of those driving modes. But first, let's start with the low and the high range. I like to stick to high range whenever I'm out ripping the trails, hitting the dunes, or just a brisk trail ride with buddies. And so my good rule of thumb is to stay in high range when you're averaging above about 20 miles an hour. Low range for me is when you're below that 15 to 20 mile an hour mark and when you get to technical obstacles, when you're loading it on a trailer, when you're pulling a buddy, anything like that where you really need to get down and you're not moving very fast, that's when I use low range. A lot of people wanna know when is the best time to use two and four wheel drive. And so these vehicles have a very dynamic four wheel drive system. So typically when I'm just out riding, I leave this thing in four wheel drive. I only lock it in two wheel drive when I really wanna cut up and have a good time. When it comes to trail active mode, you'll actually see a rock mode on the RC edition and mud mode on the MR edition. And finally, you're gonna have a front diff lock mode. Now this is when you're in low range, you've got a very technical or difficult obstacles. You can lock this bad boy in front diff lock and it will go just about anywhere. A lot of Canyon models also come with an eco and a sport mode. The eco mode is gonna reduce some torque, reduce some top speed and smooth out your throttle where the sport mode is when you wanna go all in. Now that covers the driving modes on this Can-Am X3 XRS with a smart lock front differential, but it also covers the driving modes on just about every model. Do not be scared to change the modes, see what you like, see what matches your driving style. And if you want any more information in any more videos, go check out canamoffroad.com.